So guys, for this effect, I'll need a shuffle pack of playing cards from which you will pick a card as I'm just peeling off cards like this, wherever you say stop, for example, the Eight of Diamonds, that's going to be your selection. It could be the Joker, it could be the Ten of Clubs, wherever you want to just say stop, please. For example, stop right over here, the Ten of Hearts, which is also my favorite card in a pack. Please remember your card, don't forget it, it's going to be important in a moment. At this point, I can just lose these cards back in the box, secure them inside, and ask you the important question. Do you remember what card you picked? The Ten of Hearts. Okay, sure, you just remembered it a second ago. But do you also remember its color? And I do not mean the face color, I mean the back side of it. It was obviously red, wasn't it? Cool, okay. But do you also remember the color of the other cards? The other 53 cards in the deck? Okay, interesting. Still red, but watch this. With a snap, suddenly, all cards in the pack, nothing else inside the box, they become all blue, all 53 cards. And I'm saying 53 for a reason, because you'll see that one card still is red. And that red card, you guessed it, what was your selection? The Ten of Hearts is the only red card in the blue deck. But there is of course a but in this effect. What am I going to do with a single red card in the deck? That's why I can just take it, rub it against the blue card and make it blue. That's what you will learn today. Let's get started. So guys, let's learn this incredible color changing deck effect. There are dozens of color changing decks. This is like one of the classics that I wanted to share with you. For this, you only need a blue pack of playing cards. You need a box from the opposite color, in this case red. And you need a double backed card that is blue on one side and the color of the box on the other side. That's all you need. You start off by having the opposite color on top of the pack, square everything up and you're ready to go. You will start by showing the face of the cards. And as you're showing the face of the cards, you also have to give them the feeling that you are really using a red bag of cards. I mean, you already have the subtlety of the box, you have the subtlety of this. Now you turn around the cards, you show all of them are different. Cool, right? At this point, no one is gonna say, hey, you're not using a red pack, it is a blue pack. No one is gonna say that. However, I still want to enforce that I'm using a red pack of cards. That's the reason why I'm saying that they will pick a card in a moment. And as I'm saying so, I show them how they will pick their card. So I'm holding these cards as I do a Hindu shuffle, right? So I'm basically holding them on the bottom edges here, right? And with the other hand, I take a few cards from the top and peel them into my other hand. I'm doing this once, I'm doing it twice, and then I'm just turning around the pack, tapping on top of the top card and say, you can stop me at the Queen of Hearts. That would be your selection if you want to. Then you turn the pack back around and you continue once again. You say it could be the Ace of Hearts. And again, you turn around the pack to point at the Ace of Hearts. And the only reason I'm doing that is not to show them how they will pick their card. It is actually to tap on the topmost card, revealing the red color of the cards, right? So without mentioning the cards are red, I'm enforcing that I'm using here a red pack of cards, right? A very, very cool subtlety that you can use in this effect. So I'm doing this twice or three times, and then I continue until they say stop. For example, here at the eight of hearts, and I'm doing my subtlety one last time, you pick the eight of hearts, and they see the red card again without me mentioning. Now, once they have the card in their mind, I put all the cards on top, and these go inside the red box. So I have here plenty of subtleties that show them, hey, here, I'm using a red pack of cards, right? And now you're pretty much done. You're halfway through. You are going to talk about which card they pick, what the color was, and then you're like, where are the cards really red? You snap your fingers, you open up the box and reveal all the cards blue. Now you're spreading them to show really every single card is blue until you reach to the red card here, which is your double-backed card. 
the card above it is going to be bigger selection, in this case, the eight of hearts. So as you are spreading the cards and reaching to the red card, all the focus is gonna be at this card. So here is how you reveal what the red card was. You're gonna take it and you're gonna just switch it with the topmost card, which is their selection, the eight of heart, as you stick this out. And now you're like, what was your card again? And as you're saying so, you just catch a pinky break underneath the topmost card, which is their selection. You put the red card on top and you just do a double lift to reveal the eight of hearts. Because we were using a two-sided double-backed card, the card beneath it just changed to blue, so you end up incredibly clean. You square everything back up and you're like, cool, we found your card, but what am I gonna do with a red card in a blue pack? So you take it out, rub it against the other cards and change it to blue. That's simple, guys such a cool way of doing the color changing tag very easy to do you can learn it very very quickly and i'm sure you love to perform this yourself so please do so if you liked it let me know with a huge thumbs up on this video with subscription on the channel and of course your comment in the comment section below but that was all from me today i hope to see you next time